clearly. But let's take a look at sideboarding. So what does he have access to in his sideboard? <sighs> let's take a look. Stainful Strokes, Raptor Hatchlings. What the fuck is a Raptor Hatchling? Let's find out. This Doubt Damage, get a 3-3 green dinosaur token with Trample. Weird. Fiery Cannonades, another Beacon Bolt, two Rowls, a Niv, and a Star of Extinction. Treasure Maps, I'm not sure what of those will come in. You gotta watch the Disdainful Strokes. That's definitely something. Um, all right. Let's take a look at what we can do versus that. This is Is It Drake's. This is not Phoenix's. I don't want Duress's versus this. I do want Cast Downs. Let's grab those. It's funny that he's looking at this as a race. For him, Wild Growth Walkers were worth removing. I'm not sure they are for me. The Reapers were good as a threat, but probably not good enough. I take a lot of damage here and they don't match up well. Playcrafters are great in this format for me. Scriptures, I think, are playable. Not loving the scriptures, but they're okay. I'm four over right now. I don't think elves are good enough. I think they get shocked every single time in this match. I like Vivian. She uh, it's unfortunate she targets and she's hit by Spell Pierce, so I don't know if I want a Vivian here. Uh, I want the Texan Tower here and I want Ascanta. I'm willing to pull that in just as adding a land to my deck. It's a little bit unpleasant, but we did drop elves. So going to 24 seems reasonable in terms of lands. Carnage Tyrants are a bit slow. They are a win condition, but they're a bit slow. I really don't like Fine Finality in this matchup. I feel like it's really bad. It does kill Drakes, but it has to resolve. And versus Spell Pierce and Disdainful Stroke, it's not going to resolve. It's not going to resolve before it's relevant. So maybe I keep the Wild Growth Walkers. I'm three. I need three more back in the main deck. Do another Wild Growth Walker. I'll do the Vivian. And maybe one Reaper in, or maybe one more Carnage Tyrant back. Tyrant is something for racing. He does seem like he wants to race with the deck he's playing. Definitely want those. Another three drop or another six drop. God, these feel so slow to me. Let's run out another three. Okay. That's the deck. Uh, let's go edit it to call it sideboarded so I don't forget it. And hope that game uh, two is a little bit more gentle with us in terms of mulligans. And let's do it. Uh, I get to go first if I want to. Um, I think I have to make the decision now. So I guess before it happens, yes, I want to go first. So I need to wait until the client gives me first. I go first. Easily solved. This hand is fine. It's a little bit slow, but I think we're keeping it. It's an argument for maybe of taking the cards out. It might just be not good enough in this matchup. Like maybe another Carnage Tyrant. But I do want the turn four value, especially with Elves out. I need to hit a land right now. Okay. I think this deck is fine versus Drake's. It was a very close game last game. Come on, land. Hell yes. All right, that's a great opener for us then. Okay, that's out of lava coil range. It's kind of a big deal. And a Drake and resolve Karn or just exile it here. I think an exile is good enough. It's a scary deck to play against because it kills you so quickly. Great draw. To play Planeswalkers on curve, it kills his stuff. Seems amazing. Let's take this is nothing. Oh man, this opener has been very strong though. Let's 
Let's look for a Chupacabra first. Meet my newest friend. I think Carnage Tyrant's good enough here. I want to get in for two damage. Okay. So he can play enough toughness to absorb the Carnage Tyrant from killing him. But then the Wild Growth Walker kills him. So he's got to answer both right now. If I didn't attack with both creatures last turn, he's at three more life. He gets to play a little bit differently, and I don't want that. I want the damage on his face. This gives him very bad options. So here, though, he does get dive down as an option. So he has to block them both. He's going to block with the dive down. That's how the game, that's how this turn plays out. It's the only play that makes any sense and why he hasn't conceded yet. So we know he's got dive down. Um... So dive down gives his creature seven health. We do kill it with that. He blocks the other one, it lives. So what I want to do is actually scriptures the walker here. Put it up to a four six, it kills the blocker. So I guess first we, I mean, it's a dive down. So even a chupacabra, I mean, I could just, if I minus here, it's too bad I don't have both. So this is a plus. Because I can't minus his dive down. He might be bluffing on dive down, but he's got three in the deck. There's a real... That's perfect. That's exactly the fucking card we wanted. That's so perfect right now. He can't dive down this. So he dies. So the other play was good enough. Was the scriptures into the wild growth walker, which would also kill him. So we had two options. Well, it doesn't kill him this turn. It gives him another turn to untack. But we kill his creature without losing our own creature because we become a 4-6 and his creature becomes a 4-4 with the dive down because he has to block the tyrant on the other one to make it 7. All right. Close matches, man. I mean, we, we, we had tempo there. We got to do shit like that. But all right. Let's take a look at our deck. This is the sideboarded deck. <laughs> 